defines a leader? Now, there are definitely no wrong answers to this question. You could say it's the values they uphold or the people they serve, but I say it's their story. Like every good superhero movie, there's always a vivid backstory or prequel to follow. It introduces the quintessential qualities that make or break you. The way you navigate new endeavors and use your unique experiences and skills to create change. Mahatma Gandhi, Elon Musk, Winston Churchill, and countless of others have tales about their accomplishments and how they faced adversity. But what did it take for them to get there? What was the treacherous process it took for all of these amazing leaders to define success? For me, it started with a far out vision and a passion that never dulled. The first step in this journey to unearth your power starts with discovery, setting out a layout with what you already have. You may be thinking, I know who I am by now. If so, let me ask you this, are you who you wanna be yet? The start of self-improvement begins and ends in getting to know yourself. For me, some qualities that define me are being a person of color and being a first generation immigrant. My identity has continued to change and throughout my life, I learned to speak English, make friends and even tried eating a sloppy Joe once. <laughs> As you can see, finding your values and understanding what you stand for is a major part in learning how to lead. Next, we transitioned into something many people don't enjoy, change turning the next page. Whether it's changing your mindset or molding yourself to be more practical and fervent, it is essential to be open to anything when you lead. The greatest of leaders understand the people they serve and incorporate their constituents' ideas into everything they do. You know the saying, art is never finished, only abandoned? This goes the same to say for continuous leadership and development. As we change our perceptions and style of leadership, we alter as well. We pick up critical thinking skills from everyone we meet, and you get the opportunity to become a mosaic and encompass small things that make you an even stronger leader. It's pretty cool. Now, you have revealed all of the elements that compose you, and you've understood the adjustments and technique in leadership. But how will you maintain them? The hardest part in leading is upholding these ideals and sticking by your story, even when people doubt you. I have most definitely succumbed to this. In middle school, I lost my direction and my passion. I forgot my story and tried to create fake perceptions of myself to please people and lost belief in my dreams. I drifted away from many friends and fell into a deep hole wondering, where did that Kushi go who taught to uplift and empower? In quarantine last year, I made a very profound observation as I took the time at home to work on myself. Your biggest enemy is you, self-doubt and hesitation. Let that sink in. You decide how the world will choose to remember you and time is everything we have and don't making the most of your time by serving others and truly living to your potential is something we are not taught in school. Rather, it's an ability we must learn. With the time I have, I've chosen to challenge myself to spread knowledge, activism, and help my peers ignite the torch of passion for themselves and their loved ones. Through having my podcast streaming in over 80 countries worldwide, aimed toward culture and destigmatizing common issues and writing articles for high profile news agencies about current affairs, I have found something I love. I found my power and you can too. I believe that by confronting our own biases and personal experiences, along with understanding these key steps that I mentioned in this speech, we can become better leaders and derive the best of ourselves and come together to make this whole life thing more meaningful. So I leave you all listening here with a challenge to take the first step, find what you love, stick with it, 
pick up the pen and write your own story. Thank you.